Maryland and Wake Forest. There's Arnold Palmer. Half the Deeks had lemonade before the game. The other half had iced tea. I think that's a winning combination. C.J. Brown back in the lineup for the Terps. He, of course, they survived without him against UVA last week. Michael Campanero closing in on the all-time receptions record at Wake Forest. First snap of the game, Nikita Whitlock. The sack loss of 14, a three and out, and the Deeks would turn that into a touchdown on the ensuing drive, 7-0. Second quarter, now 10-3. C.J. Brown just looked out of sync all game long, picked off by Merrill Noel, a.k.a. Bud. Returns it 49 yards, put the Deeks in prime scoring position. Three plays later, Tanner Price keeps it himself. The four-yard touchdown. We started to see this offense click a couple of weeks ago against NC State, 17-3, Wake. C.J. Brown throws another interception. And Wake Forest, some Jim Grove trickery. Campanero to Price on the score. 24-3, Demon Deacons at the half. Third quarter, the Terps make a change of quarterback. C.J. Brown out. Caleb Rowe in. The second play for Rowe to Laverne Jacobs. He turns it into a 56-yard touchdown. Rowe over 200 yards passing in the second half, but just 12 of 27. 24-10, next Wake drive. Nine plays, 88 yards, ends here. Campanero, 10-yard touchdown. Price, a nice day, 26 of 35, 230 yards passing. Start of the fourth quarter, Terps go for it on fourth down. Stephon Diggs converts, but he is hurt on the play. Diggs, in pain, carted off the field. Final minute, Campanero needs one more catch to break the Wake Forest receiving mark, and he gets it. 11 catches in the game, now 217 in his career, number one all-time in Wake Forest history. Congrats to Camp. The Deeks win it 34-10, but reports are horrible for the Terps. Both Dion Long and Stephon Diggs reportedly have broken legs and will need surgery. That is horrible news for Maryland. Next week, they take on Clemson Wake. It looked like this team was in trouble after the loss to Louisiana Monroe early in the season, but now they are 4-3 next up at Miami.